Welcome to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. We are at Lima Central Catholic to talk a little T-Bird football. And we're joined by first-year head coach Scott Palti. But, of course, you're a veteran, and you're also a veteran of succeeding Jerry Cooper as you followed him at Columbus Grove and now following him at the T-Birds. Yeah, what a uh, I guess odd coincidence might be the way to describe it. It just, just kind of happened. But I feel very fortunate about it. I mean, Jerry does a great job, and he runs a great program. And, you know, when you get to take over – for a coach who, who establishes a proven winner and does a great job and organizes a program, it, it makes your transition much easier. So I'm very fortunate in that aspect. And hopefully we can continue the success that he's had here the past nine years. Certainly over that time, Coach Cooper and LCC developed a lot of college football players, a lot of Division One players. Didn't leave the cupboard bare for you at all. No, we have, we have some really good football players and some really good young men um, on our football team this year. I, and we have, I think, the strength of our team. We have, you know, we have a lot of skill guys. I think a lot of guys with, with some speed and quickness. Um, Ethan O'Connor, our, our quarterback, you know, he's a big, strong kid with a big arm. Uh, Cam White, Dimitri Floyd, Nick Tafflinger, Aiden O'Connor. You know, we think we have some, uh, some really, really talented weapons on offense. And, in, and the guys up front, they're coming along too. And I think by, the, by week one, they'll be ready to go as well. I hate to compare Ethan to Tyler, his brother, <laughs> but I'm sure it's happened many times. What, how are they similar? How are they different as quarterbacks? You know, the, the one thing, I wasn't here before, so I don't know all, but, you know, to me, from just playing against Tyler and watching Ethan in practice, they both have that extremely strong arm. I mean, it is absolute cannons uh, throwing a football. And I think the leadership aspect, Ethan's a good leader. From when I'd, We'd compete against LSU when I was at Columbus Scrow. I thought Tyler was, was an excellent leader and did, did some great things. And uh, I can see the same thing in Ethan. You know, I think they are, you know, very, very similar young men. You were the defensive coordinator last year for the T-Birds. Are you going to put more of a, a defensive imprint on the team now as head coach? I am going to move over to the offensive side. I, I find it a little more fun, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to move over there. Um, defensively, Bob Tomasi and Mike Rumschlag, they're going to handle our uh, our defense, and those guys do a great job. They did a great job last year you know, assisting me with the defense, and I've got the utmost confidence in them doing a fine job again, and I'm going to, I'm going to put all my focus on offense, and I'm just going to stay out of their way. Let them let them do their do what they do their thing. Second year LCC back playing as an independent. How much do you talk with AD Ron Williams about setting that schedule, or is it something that you know you don't have much control over? It, so you'll just go out there and play whoever you're playing. No, it, it is difficult to have, to have an independent schedule, especially with a lot of conferences right now trying to uh, make weeks four through ten their league games and leaving their their uh, non-league games for weeks one, two, and three. So it is a challenge and. You know, in my you know short time here as head coach, we have talked a little bit, but we need to be able to find some teams to play. And I, we have a you know full schedule this year. Um, I think we have one opening at the end of next year. I think I'd have to check again, but you know, I think we can find teams that want to play. We may travel a little farther, but we can, we can fill out our schedule. Yeah, among those teams this year, Dayton Meadowdale coming in. That'll be one of the LCC mm -hmm. games on WOSN as well as the first two games, the uh, home game against Bath and then taking on St. John's in week two. Second year of this Bath Elida. St. John's, LCC, little round robin thing. It, it, it seems like that's a good fit for all four programs. I, I think so. You know, having the Lima Land teams play each other, you know, I think that's a lot of excitement for the for the communities and for the schools and for the young men. And I think they really enjoy competing against, you know, so, some local athletes. And you know, this, this year we play Bath again, uh, which will be well coached and, and a strong football team. You know, Coach Garland does a great, great job, and their kids will be hungry. You know, then. The following year, you know, we'll switch up the schedule. So yeah, I think I think it's a neat thing that they've developed. Another neat thing, your relationship with Coach Mike Fell over at Lima Senior, played for him, coached under him at Columbus Grove, and it, it, you still have a good relationship with him, even though there's some folks that want to see a, a, a hatred between the T-Birds and the Spartans. No, I, you know, Coach Fell is a, I guess, a real good friend of mine. You know, in the coaching world, he's probably right there at the top. He's done a lot for me, and he's you know, been a great friend in all aspects. And you know, honestly, I, I hope he wins every game. I mean. Our friendship means easy to all, say when they're not on the schedule. That's right. That's right. You know, and we, we're you know far obviously far different sides. We're not going to meet each other anytime right. in a playoff trail. So I hope he wins every game. Does a great job. I was real happy for him last year with the uh, you know winning five games and getting getting something going over there at Lima Senior. You know, he's he does a great job. He's a great coach. And yeah, I, mean, I wish him the <laughs> most success he can have. T Birds only got it going last year. Another playoff appearance as he finished the season with a, a nine and four record or an eight and three record, I should say. A couple of weeks before that opener against Bath, what do you need to work on the most between now and, and that week one game with the Wildcats? You know, we we have some time here. Fortunately, you know, we have some new, new ideas we're doing offensively and, and defensively. You know, I just think you know we got to clean some things up. Our timing, you know, we're putting in a new offense. We're throwing the ball more. 
you know, obviously when you throw the ball more, your receivers and, and quarterbacks have to be on the same page. You know, we, we have a lot of balls hitting the ground right now. I'm hoping in a week or so that we can go through practice, you know, with more in our hands and hit the turf. You know, that's the type of things we need to clean up. But our kids have had a great work ethic, you know, so far in our camp days and our first couple of days of practice here. And I don't expect them to do anything else but get better for the next couple of weeks. And I think by week one, I, I think we can be a pretty good football team. Did you see that same normal dedication to LCC football over the summer? I did. Our kids worked hard. They're, they're hungry. They, uh, you know, they think they can be a good football team, and I think they understand what it takes to be a good football team. And we had a lot of good work over the summer and some great effort in the weight room, uh, working on their own, throwing with each other, and uh, made it even more exciting to start practice knowing that these guys were fully committed. What, uh, what do you think the strength of this team's going to be? I think the strength right now is, is our skill guys. I think we have really good team speed. I mean, I think we have some guys that are really can create some mismatches for, for the opponent's defense. And I think on our, our defensive side of the ball, I think their speed can really help us get to the football and make some big plays. I think right now that is our strength of our, of our football team. And, and as I said, our linemen, are, you know, they're new, they're young, and we, you know, I, but I think they're coming around. I mean, they're working hard, and I, I expect them really by midseason, they might be the strength of our football team. All right, thank you very much, Scott Palti, head coach of the LCC T-Birds. We're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. And when we return, Patrick Hamler will join us to talk with the LCC players here in WOSA. Welcome back to the warm-up show, sponsored by U.S. Plastics. Continuing with some of the members of the Atlanta Central Catholic T-Birds team, I'm joined right now by Brad Stolle, Jack Huffman, and Ethan O'Connor. Guys, say thanks for joining us. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Thank for you having very us. much. So you're just about a week into uh, practice and getting ready for the season. Uh, how's it going so far? How, how have things been coming for getting ready for the season? Um, so far, I think things are going great. Um, you know, we're starting to see the components, the offense all coming together and the defense too. But um, the most important thing that I think this, this season so far that I've seen that I really like has been the team chemistry. Um, everyone's really getting along and, and uh, practicing well and practicing hard. And, and that, that's, you know, one of the most important things I think on a football team is, you know, how well you play together as a team. I think we're going to have do pretty well at that this year. With uh, some of the younger guys on the team, how have you been helping to bring those guys along and, and getting them ready for the season? Well, it's a different offense for all of us. We're all running a different offense, so we're all trying to learn the same thing. So we're doing our best to learn fast and, you know, help the young guys out and uh, create that team chemistry like Jack was talking about, and it's, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, Ethan, what are some of the things that uh, you and the offense are specifically working on for the upcoming season? Um, most of it's timing since we're running a lot of pass routes. Um, also with the running backs, a lot of people don't really, like we were running a spread offense, but if a defense is giving us four down linemen where we can run all day, that's all we're going to do is run. So timing is with every single player, even the linemen. Uh, I know Jack and I have been working a lot with snaps and everything like that. It's just timing and it's just creating it's like unison with everyone. With the season coming up, you guys are independents again this year. What like, what do you guys look forward to? What kind of amps you up about uh, specific games in the season? Uh, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to the Bath game because, you know, you know, you know, no matter what, Bath's gonna come out and they're gonna hit you. They're gonna play hard. So uh, I'm looking forward to Bath, and then Delphi St. John's week two is is always they're always tough. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what you think every year, you think, oh, well, they graduated some, and so we, we might have it. Be, you know, they might be able to. We might be able to have an easier game this year, but they always come back every year and they always hit you hard and they always play you tough. So, I mean, I, that Delphi St. John's game I always think about. And even during the offseason, I'm thinking about how great of a rivalry that game is. I, I love playing against Delphi St. John's. What about the rest of you guys? You guys on the same, on the board with that too? or? Yeah, I'm looking forward to come back. Uh, tearing my ACL last year, I'm really looking forward. Just playing one game last year and I can't wait to get back on the field with these guys again. Uh, I think a lot of it is redemption and wanting to get back. I mean, for me, I love, I mean, I can't wait to the playoffs. And I can't wait till we can make that run because I know with this team chemistry we have and by the way things are looking right now, I've been with a lot of football teams and I can tell this thing is something special. Guys, thanks a lot for joining us and good luck this season. More on the warm up show by U.S. Plastics when we come back here on WOSN.
Welcome back to the warm-up show sponsored by U.S. Plastics. Joined with a couple more T-Bird players. I'm joined by Aiden O'Connor, Cam White, and Dimitri Floyd. Guys, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thanks for having Thank me. you. I was going to start with you, Dimitri. You're into practice now, uh, just getting back into it. What have you been working on in uh, two days so far? Uh, overall, our team has been getting a lot better. Just We're just trying to be a team this year because last year we had like just a couple people on the team that just weren't like all together with it. But uh, this year we're just trying to be a, just like a single unit, just working together, get through things. Cam, you talked about a little bit of team chemistry and some of the guys we had on earlier. Uh, how has that been working and also with getting some of the younger guys involved in the practice and getting them up to speed with what you guys are doing this year? Oh, we welcome the young guys. We try to get them involved in everything. We always help them with their routes, everything on defense. We just try to uh, get them engaged in everything in practice. Move to you this time, Aiden. So offensively, how have you guys been uh, gelling and putting things together? Uh, we've been doing pretty good. I mean, everyone's no, everyone knows their place, and I mean, we're doing. Everyone's doing their own job and getting better every day. Cam, if you guys being independents this year, there's no real conference or anything that you guys get amped up about. So what gets you excited about the upcoming football season? What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to just being a senior and playing with my guys. It's, it's really exciting. I'm very excited for it. Uh, Dimitri, any games you guys have circled on your calendar? And you, any of you guys can jump in on this particular question. Um, I feel like every game should be circled just because it's just we're independent this year. Every game matters. Mm -hmm. Cam, what about you? I agree completely with Dimitri. Yeah. Aiden? I would agree, but I mean... I also always like circle St. John's just just because yeah St. John's it's a great program yes. and it's always fun that week just looking up for the game and it's yeah. a great game and it's just always fun to look forward to. Now you guys had a great season last year, eight and two, went to the first round of the playoffs, got bounced. Do you guys do you, do you circle any playoff games in your calendar? Is that something you're looking forward to? You guys want to get back to the playoffs and, and move further? Any one of you guys can answer that. Dimitri, uh, go ahead. And absolutely. We, of course we want to make it back to the playoffs, but, I mean, we just got to take it one week at a time. We, got, we just got to worry about the game that week. And then when the time comes, we'll handle our business. Cam? We're just worried about week one right now. When the playoffs come, we'll be worried about those. All right, awesome. Hey, guys, thanks a lot for being here. Appreciate it, and have a uh, great season. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to wrap it up for the warm-up show, sponsored by U.S. Plastics. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.